Well, good morning, and welcome to Seam Sprout. My name is Chris, and <laughs> I got a story for you guys. This experiment isn't starting out real well, so uh, grab your cameras and let's go. So, story of today, yesterday, Saturday, yes. So, the experiment has started Saturday, but with, so okay, let me back up here. So, a buddy of mine had been trying to get out to come out with me. He finally decided to come with me, and that was pretty awesome. So, I was pretty excited about the morning to start out with, and yeah, so I got there and there was some deer. Show those right now. That was pretty cool. Um, that little guy was running like Greyhound style. I wish that my phone had a little bit less of a wide angle or could zoom in some way so I could have videoed that because it was pretty awesome. So, um, sorry, all I got to share with you guys is the, the shots I took of the deer, but that's better than nothing, right? Anyways, so let's move on here. Um, the So, my buddy shows up, we start walking, I do the intro of the video. Um, I got some footage. I got about a quarter of the video done. <laughs> Not enough to really consider much. And then, um, so anyways, we started shooting. I got, like I said, about a quarter of the footage done and a marathon happened. There was a bunch of people running a marathon through there. So there wasn't five seconds, 10 seconds sometimes between people. So it was kind of hard to shoot. Felt like I was standing right in the middle of the, uh, the trail. So, um, there's one scene that I did to get that I was able to get before everybody started running through that I will play towards the end of the video, so stick around for that. Um, I did decide I was gonna do the macro lens. Um, yeah, today it's a little bit a little bit too windy for a macro lens. It's not windy, but basically a macro lens is like uh, depth of field. The area of your picture that will actually be in focus is very, very small. And um, you'll see with the, the little clip at the end there where um, I actually found an inchworm, and you know how big inchworms are, they're pretty small, so the picture's huge. So check that out and you'll get a better idea of what I mean by the depth of field of it. And we'll, we'll give it a proper go over at one point, I promise. Just, uh, huh. so yeah, this has been the, bit, the first real road bump. So after the, um, after all of those, the marathon thing, I mean, we started walking back towards the car and there was people passing us the whole entire time and we had walked for a good 45 minutes, 35 minutes or so. So yeah, there was a ton of people there, way more than I'm usually used to. It, so much to the point where I was trying to film and say, hey guys, there's a lot of people here running a marathon, we're gonna go to another spot. And my microphone right here had popped off of its little clamp and was dragging behind me. And I didn't realize it until after I started putting stuff away. I uh, went back and listened to the audio and all you could hear is the microphone bouncing across the ground. So, uh, it's okay though. It's all right because that's the journey here. You know, that's what we're here learning to take care of. So anyways, um, for the majority of this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did get yesterday towards the end of this, um, just cause there's no way to really stick it in to make it feel congruent. Um, and there's a chance I might just show the pictures. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just winging it today, to be honest, because after yesterday, Saturday morning, I took yesterday off. I was just kind of bummed. That's how bummed it got me. Um, also, when I got home to check out what footage I did get, uh, somehow when I was cleaning my lens, my sensor the night before, because I had like two little lens or two little dust spots on my sensor, and uh, they were annoying me. I was tired of cleaning them up in Lightroom afterwards, or Luminar 3 with, for me. So 
Um, yeah, so I decided to try and clean it, and I just used the little hand blower, the rocket blower thing, and somehow I made it worse. I ended up getting it cleaner, but I think I'm gonna have to order those little things or take it to somebody, because I don't want to ruin my camera. Um, that would kind of ruin all of this for all of us, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, I've babbled on enough, so let's head back up the trail. I don't know what we're gonna get today. It's kind of gloomy. Um, like I said, it's slightly windy, nothing really bad. Uh, that's why I got Fluffy here on, just to kind of help cut back on any extra wind noise that might be out today. So I think we're just gonna end up with some gloomy sky pictures. I'm gonna head off this direction. Eh, can't really see it here. But uh, with the way I'm doing the tra transitions today, I hope you liked that, getting to the bench here. And then uh, I'm gonna do the same thing around the rest of the park today. So that's how we're going to do transitions and uh, portray a different way of travel. If you haven't checked out that Facebook thing, you should head over there. Uh, links are in the description and whatnot. So um, I did explain what we're doing with this uh, for all my Facebook friends. And if you're not a Facebook fan, you should uh, like the page over there. I do all sorts of behind the scenes stuff. And if you want more crazy photo drama like this, like I know I didn't get any video of it, the drama itself, I might actually, now that I think about it, I might have a clip where I had turned off my camera, or was swinging my camera down, and you can see one runner behind me, so maybe, but I don't like to film other people, plus they're out there trying to run and, you know, get healthy, and I think it'd be kind of rude either way, even if I did get some of that drama, but, uh, yeah, so, I think that even today, no, never mind, you know what, I don't like those dust spots, you don't get to see them, yeah, that's how, that's how ruthless I am with them, just dust spots, so in any case, again, onto the trail. this cool little thing she saw from the little journey that I'm creating here I thought something cool was gonna be back here but as you can see it's just mowed grass or weeds but anyways it is pretty around here though it's all really tall just these it's nature dominating this whole area without this trail I probably couldn't have been able to walk through here so eh. anyways we're gonna continue I uh, took a couple pictures there as you saw along the way um, nothing I felt needed explaining, it's just some flowers, so I'm trying to look for something that's kind of seeing this sky over here. I know you can't really see it with the phone, but there's a band of sunlight that's coming through right there, so I'm going to hopefully up here, these, <laughs> all this growth is very tall, so we'll see, we'll see what we find. Um, either way, we always walk away with some photos, and if nothing else, this has been a major learning experience. Um, you know, I knew it wasn't going to go smoothly, but I was hoping beginner's luck would hold out a little bit longer. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let's keep going. Okay, so it's starting to rain on my head. Um, and I to bringing my, uh, my rain, rain jackets and stuff. Well, not really my rain jackets, but the uh, my camera. So I'm uh, hustling back to the car. So I'm gonna have to cut this video here. Um, I'll show off the rest of what I got yesterday, the pictures and whatnot. So I hope you like that. Sorry that this, uh, this has been a journey trying to make just this video. So um, as you guys know, second video coming up on Thursday. So keep an eye out for that and if you haven't liked comment subscribe uh, a lot of stuff going on with the channel over the next couple of weeks months who knows 
the channel is just going to keep growing. Experiments will keep being made. Nature will continue to be captured in beautiful ways. So come along. Grab your cameras. Let's go. Keep your cameras handy. Whatever you want to keep in the back of your head. Just uh, keep taking pictures, guys. Until next time, take it easy. So, the experiment. Yes. Oh, real quick. Ugh. So, real quick. Um, I hit 30 subscribers yesterday. Or not yesterday. To yesterday from today, because I'm shooting the video. Um, on Friday. Friday morning. I had 30 subscribers. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty excited about that. Thank you guys for the support. Um, so anyways, the experiment. Yes. I'm going to be experimenting with transitions mostly today. Um, kind of get a feel for this. Doing this. Uh, so anyways, and then the video side of things, we are going to be doing macro photography in the woods. So we're, I'm going to keep looking here. We'll find something worth shooting. Most likely I'm going to have to bust out my tripod because it is still, still dark enough in the trees that I'm not going to be able to handhold something macro. And I'll kind of go over that a little bit here in a minute when we get set up, uh, once I find something. So um, hold tight and we'll get back here in just a moment. All right, so I found an inchworm. You're not going to be able to see him on here, but he's on that little branch right in front of my lens there. Um, I don't have it 100% set up yet. I wanted to go ahead and do the video part of this, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and pop everything up and, and as I'm talking, though, show you the, the picture and everything. But uh, there's a couple of them on this branch, so I'm going to try and get in really close to this macro lens and see if we can't uh, get a good look at this guy. So here we go. All right, so hope you like that picture. It's a little bit harder to get that one. The wind is blowing just enough to move the tree limb. And something you need to understand about macro lenses, they have a very, very shallow depth of field, which means there's only a very small area that's going to actually be in focus. And since it's like, it's literally so small that if the wind blows it enough, it'll sit there and blow in and out of focus. There's no amount of focusing you can do. You could stop it all the way down to a really low aperture, um, say f16, f22 or greater if your lens can go that far, but it would create a lot of distortion and your picture would start looking blurry again because of diffraction. So yeah, the struggle of the photographer is real. <laughs> it's an enjoyable one though. So um, anyways, we're gonna keep looking for some, uh, some other subjects here. We're not quite done with this. I uh, hope you like the new transitions we're, I'm testing out today. So, uh, yeah. Hang tight and we'll be right back. <laughs> 